finished the uh, structure um, for the solar thermal car test unit. So it's going to rotate like this and follow the sun. So it's going to be automatic sun tracking underneath. And this will give me the data I need to modify the design before I build the full scale solar thermal car. This pipe is at 178 degrees without any kind of insulation. So there's enough energy going into that pipe that it can still dissipate heat and still rise to such a high temperature. So this is very accurate, creates a lot of power, and it's very easy to make uh, just out of plywood, curved sheet, and tin foil as a mirror. Um, so I'm very excited to hook this up to a steam engine and create power. So this is my first test uh, outside with the full um, unit of the stand and everything. So all I did, I don't have the sun tracking working yet, so I just took a piece of wood and uh, put a clamp on there so that keeps it at this high angle. So this is just about sunset. The sun is very low. Um, so this is about the highest angle it's going to get. So it's just about as tall as I am. Um. I've just started building the large um, solar car test model now. So what I've done is I graphed all the points on the computer and I marked them on the sheet, okay, on the graph paper, and then I um, traced out the curve. So I'm going to cut the curve out of these um, two pieces of plywood. I have thicker um, 3 8 inch plywood that I'm going to cook to support. And then the surface for the mirror will be the thinner um, quarter inch plywood. And this is for the structure, so I'm putting it all together and hopefully it will be together soon and I can start testing. I have these supports here, a 2 inch support that comes up and holds the pipe in the middle. There's two side supports and that holds the curve. Now this curved surface is what's going to hold the plywood to form the mirror. So this is I'm trying to make this as accurate as possible to make sure that all the light, when it comes and hits the curve, um, goes towards the pipe to heat it up. So I finished cutting out the first mirror support surface. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to lay it on the next piece of plywood. I'm going to line this up, and then I'm going to just take uh, a pencil and mark out, um, just trace the shape, and I'm going to cut the second piece out like that to make sure that they're very similar. And then I'm going to sand the surface here, which is the mirror surface, to make sure it has a nice gradual curve. And uh, then all the light should focus on the pipe. So these three pieces here are going to become the first joining pieces to join the two halves of the curve. Um, and they're just going to stand here like this, so there's a line there. Um, I'm going to put a couple like that, and then the other curve is going to go on here. Okay, and this is going to, I'm going to start with three, so one two, three, so one in the middle and two at the sides to hold it um, in the beginning and then I'll add um, at least two more. Now, the most important things with these is that they're all the exact same length so that the top mirror isn't tilted. Um, so I'm going to put them together, clamp them together, and then I'm going to cut all three at once to ensure that they're the exact same length. The model is gluing overnight. The glue here in the joints is nice and, uh, nice and dry. The problem is that it's not very strong in this direction if I push this. It moves like that, so I need to have stiffeners. And actually, I'm very lucky that these pieces are actually just cut out garbage pieces from the bottom curve here. And I can take this same piece and I can just put it here, and it makes an amazing stiffener. So I'm going to use three of those, stiffen that. I don't want to take it off the jig, I don't want to move it until I've stiffened it just in case there's a load and it cracks uh, the glue. And then I'm going to add uh, more supports. Alright, so with this uh, mirror support, I drilled these nice these, uh, three by twos in here with two long screws. So that stiffens up the whole thing on both ends. And it has a surface here for the very end of the uh, mirror surface to go against with the right angle here. Um, now the next step is I'm wood gluing these little blocks of wood here in the corner. So I'm going to do three here, 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 and then I'm going to drill into here. And this is for all the screws to drill in to attach the sheet. So the plywood sheet is going to go on top. So I'm going to secure it at the ends and in the middle. So that's going to make sure that it's nice and flat and follows this straight line and it also follows this curve here. Put this piece here so with the cutouts all fits really nice. has a nice little overhang here all the way along. And I strapped it down so that it bends nicely. Now if I flip over to the back side, I'm going to take those blocks and I'm going to drill through the back um, to line up the holes. So I'm going to start with the center one and then I can put screws from the top through and then I'll uh, screw it in place. Okay, so uh, I cover the solar thermal test unit now, the mirror support, and this focuses all the light onto a pipe. I'm going to cover it in tin foil, um, and it's going to rotate like around the pipe like this, but it's also a very good uh, rocking chair. We just discovered this, so if you just 
sit down like this. So I widen the hole at the top there, and now I can put the screw back in and it'll be flush. And there it is, nice and flush, so I can put my hand over it and I don't hit it at all. So now the tin foil can go over, and it'll just bridge right over the uh, screw and it won't have any tenting. So the accuracy will be much better. Alright, so I have all the um, screws here countersunk, so they're nice and um, flush. And the curve here, you can see the cutout falls extremely closely with the sheet. So all these screws are holding it in place. And now what I'm doing is I'm just sanding. So you can see that I can sand right over all the screws without them catching. Um, so I'm going to sand it nice and flat, and then I'm going to put the uh, tin foil mirror on top of it. So I start covering in the um, test model in tin foil. I take the tin foil, put white glue, and I smear it out so it's really thin, and then I just lay it across. So I've done a couple sections. Um, I'm going to complete the whole thing. And it's nice and sunny outside, so I really want to check just to put a pipe there and see how much power it gets. Okay, so most of the um, solar test model is covered in tinfoil. And you can see that the mirror is quite good. And you can see my hand reflection as you get further away. It's not quite as good, but you can see the support here, reflection and everything else. So for the first time, I'm testing the mirror for the large test unit. So we'll have a structure and it will rotate. For now, I just propped it up with a piece of wood in the back there. And I just have an empty pipe, I'm just testing to see how much light um, actually um, hits the pipe. So the accuracy is quite good. Um, you can see a little bit of extra light there, but I mean compared to the center, which is really bright, um, it's very good. So the solar thermal car test model structure is complete. So I have a, the stand, and then I have the mirror that rotates. So I just have these, uh, this piece here that I put on top, and this holds the pipe in place. Um, and then all the sun is focused to the center. So as the sun moves, there's going to be a motor at the bottom, and it's going to pull and rotate it. So it rotates very easily. I just push a little bit, and I can rotate it just with my hand. Um, it gets heavier at the end when it's uh, at the low, like sunset, um, sunrise. The thermal car will be 16 times longer than the mirror, and it'll also hopefully be um, wider. This is four feet. I'm hoping to get six feet, so I can have extensions that I'm going to put on each end. Um, but first I'm going to do a lot of testing like this with the um, glass insulation, vacuum, um, the oil loop, and the steam engine, everything else. And I should be able to get quite a bit of power out of this.